If you own an iPhone, an iPad, an Android, or a Chromebook, you no doubt have a lot of experience discovering different apps. But what does it take to create your own apps? What kind of skills do you need? Although there are many tools that can help you develop iPhone apps, iPad apps, Chrome apps, or Android apps, they all require four basic things. They require some basic programming skills, problem solving, patience, and lots of creative thinking. This set of tutorials will help you put your creative thinking to use, practice your patience in problem solving while developing some basic pro programming skills that can help you get the basic skills you need to start building your own apps. This set of tutorials will use a tool called AppCraft developed by a company called Beyond App. This tool can be downloaded from the App Store. Although AppCraft does not allow you to publish your apps directly to the iTunes Store, it does allow you to develop the skills you need to develop your own apps, it allows you to play them, share them with friends, revise them, test them, and make them even better. AppCraft will help you imagine a new app, create it, play with it, share it with friends using FTP or sharing your device, reflect on it, and imagine new ways to improve it, and try again. This creativity cycle was developed by Professor Mitch Resnick from the MIT Media Lab. You can learn more about Professor Resnick, the creativity cycle, by researching him online at the MIT Media Lab. First thing you will need to do is download AppCraft HD from the App Store. There are many ways to explore AppCraft and all its features, some of which are under development. It was my experience that not all features worked as they should yet, and there were several times when AppCraft crashed in the middle of my trying something new. However, I found that it was still highly functional and provided a great opportunity for students to learn basic programming skills and problem solving necessary to turn their creative ideas into working prototypes of fun, interactive mobile apps. And the folks from Beyond App continue to improve AppCraft, so I'm sure we will see many of the new features added as they update AppCraft and on the App Store. When you first open AppCraft, you will find a great tutorial that contains several examples of what you can do with AppCraft. The first thing you should do is create a copy of the tutorial so you can play with the examples experiment with the objects and scenes without worry. What you'll do is hit the edit button over here and then when, that will bring up a little plus sign on the tutorial and then you give it a new name. Simply calling a copy of tutorial 1.3 will do. The best way to learn programming is to take apart examples from other programmers and try to figure out how they work. The tutorial that comes with AppCraft provides an opportunity to take apart many scenes put together from the folks from AppScraft and inspect the objects that they put on each scene. By hitting the play button on each scene, exploring the objects, and asking yourself, what makes it do that, you are on your way to becoming a good apps programmer. When you're done playing with a scene, just hit the green apps button and the quit button so that you can deconstruct the scene, play with the objects and try to figure out what makes each object work. After I played a scene, I would then start to click on the object and then click on each of the menu items along the top and along the bottom to see if any of the settings of each menu item control the object on the scene. I didn't always understand the settings, but I didn't let that stop me. I kept exploring and became familiar with the different scenes in the tutorial so that I could go back later when I wanted to try something similar in my project or my app prototype. I took the time to examine the settings of each menu item over and over again. When I clicked on a different object, I tried to figure out how each of the settings on the different menu items control the object on the scene. Curiosity is an important part to learning to create apps. Asking, how does this work? And looking for answers is a big part of learning to program and build apps.
But if you have never programmed before, you might need a little guidance creating your first app. This guidebook is intended to help you get off the ground with apps programming using AppCraft. The first thing I'd like to introduce you to is the support section. By clicking on the support button, you will get the help section. And the help section has a tutorial video. And then it has the help section, which brings you to the user's guide, the quick start, and the FAQ. The Quick Start is the best place to start. By clicking on the Quick Start, you will get a menu that introduces you with details on how to add a new app, how to add a new scene, how to add a new actor, how to import images, and to do scenarios. Our next tutorial will walk you step by step through some of these Quick Start concepts which are very important to creating your new app. What I would suggest now is that you go ahead and explore the Quick Start Guideline. There are some nice pictures and some instructions on how to add a new app, create a scene, add an actor, and play with scenarios. When you're done with that, come back here to Tutorial 2 and we will start creating our first app together. We will create a scene, we will add characters and objects called actors, and we'll give those characters and objects powers called scenarios, and you will be on your way to creating your first app using AppCraft.